Hello all, I am back now. I know a few of you might be thinking, I've had a haircut, yeah, so let's get that out of the way first. Secondly, I know I've not been doing videos lately, that's because I don't really have that much time at the moment, it's the start of the new season now, so I'm very busy. Um, I'm also looking for Starcade 1985, I've seen 84, I'm about to review it, I'll review it straight after I do this, upload it sometime in the week. Um, but yeah, let's get on to the topic of the video, shall we? Kelly Kelly has been released by the WWE. Now, my regular viewers of my videos will know that I'm not a big fan of Kelly Kelly in that whenever she wrestles, I kind of roll my eyes and say, oh, this again. Hurry up, let's get it over and done with so we can move on with the show. That being said, I didn't want WWE to release her. And I'm not going to go the, the humanitarian route of saying, oh, this is a human being, she can't be sacked from her job, she's got bills to pay, etc, etc. Which is all true, but I'm not going to go that route. I'm going to go the route of WWE have failed to capitalise on Kelly Kelly and her brand, basically. Because if, if you look at her, she's obviously a model type woman, isn't she? You look at her and think, okay, everyone in the world will want this woman to advertise their product. Everyone in the world will want this woman to appear in their music video or appear in their film or whatever. Even if it's just a cameo. So why not use her? Just say, listen, okay, stay on the WWE contract, but go do whatever you want, within reason, of course. Then she can go out there, she can do music videos, she can, you know, schmooze with all these celebrities that appear at... Um, sports events and stuff, all representing the WWE. And it really forced WWE into the public eye and everyone will, will look at it saying, oh, I want to watch WWE because they've got this Kelly Kelly on their show. And then for big events like WrestleMania, they can use her, give her a title match or something, or team up with another celebrity to go against the two bad guys, and they can even win. Because Although it's out an outsider coming in to win, the celebrity, it will work because it's Kelly Kelly and she'll be getting the rub and in turn giving the rub back to WWE by again becoming a bigger star in the public eye and then sending more fans back to WWE saying, listen, I want to see more Kelly Kelly, etc, etc. It's a never ending cycle but WWE have decided to release her now. Possible reasons might be that, you know, they're not getting on, she's not being used, they're just paying her so WWE decided, you know what? With PG at the moment, we can't really use these really good looking women to their best of their abilities. She's not a great worker. We can release her. Fair, fair point. Another point is that she is not a good role model. Especially feeding back into this PG thing. You know, there's the pictures of her online where, you know, she's having a piss in a sink or whatever. And disgusting stuff. Rumours going round about backstage she sleeps with this person, that person. None of our business really, but it's out there in the public domain. So again, not a good role model to the children. So I, I sort of see that aspect. But yeah, basically my opinion is that they shouldn't have fired her. I want to know what your opinion is. Did you like her as a wrestler? Do you, are, you, are you one of the people who uh, has the opinion of, even if they're not a good wrestlers, these women, put them in there anyway. Equal rights and all that, because we do have many who get in there and wrestle who um, who are just in there because they're you know, jacked up, built. Ezekiel Jackson springs to mind, or Vladimir Kozlov. He wasn't really jacked, but you know, he was muscly. So, it goes both ways. I'd rather chuck them all out, to be honest. If you can't work, you can't work. Get out of it. But that's my opinion. I want to know your opinion. What did you think of Kelly Kelly? What did you think of her as a wrestler? What do you think as a as a brand? Do you think she should have been fired? Would you have fired her? When would you have fired her? Would you have fired her now? Would you have fired her five years ago? Would you have never even hired her in the first place? Also, there's the fact that she could have been a valet. That's a, another thing that Kelly Kelly just screams valet to me. Now, she's not as charismatic as Sonny, but again, she has the looks. Teacher, send her to acting classes, etc, etc. Anyway, that is my opinion on uh, the subject, I want to know yours, so yeah, thank you for watching, I'll be back very soon with hopefully a Starcade 1984 review, I'm looking for Starcade 85 so I can watch that and review that too, and I'll be back soon, see you later.